Hello and welcome to Vlogmas! Okay, so I know in the video that I posted yesterday, which I actually filmed today, I said that I was just going to post a gaming video and then I'll have an interesting vlog up for tomorrow. But I lied because I actually had nothing interesting to do. And I think the most interesting thing that happened today was just us talking to each other. But I can't just go like, okay, let me vlog our conversation and put that on the internet because that's just weird. So basically it's nighttime and my idea for my video is that I'm going to do online Christmas coloring pages while talking about like Christmas topic ideas. I just found some random ones and I wrote them down. And so that's what this is. And also Karen's here. Hey. <laughs> and yeah, if if you hear some random comments about what I'm saying, it's from her. Okay, we're going to start with coloring Santa's workshop. So basically I'm playing one of these like iPhone games. I think it's called like Fashion Fever or something where basically you have to remodel these people and you remodel them by giving them a new outfit and new makeup and a new house as well. And I'm obsessed with making everyone like super pastel and pretty. So that is definitely the vibe I'm going for for this house. Anyways, let me start with the first question. What's better, a real or a fake tree? So our family has always done like fake trees. Like since I was a baby, our tree has been fake. I don't know if this is a good red. This is a nice red. That's so red. That's pink, right? I was thinking it's like a pink red. Mm, yeah, okay. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. So we've always done a fake tree. But I think around maybe when I was maybe five-ish years ago, we started using real trees. Just because, I don't know, for the vibe, I don't know what made us decide to change. And we've been liking it because I think it's also so nice because it's so full and stuff. Wait, let me zoom in. And so it's cool because you got the smell and also it's just, it's just so big, you know, and the natural feel too. Because I think the thing that solidifies in my head that real trees are better is because maybe like three years ago, I think around COVID times, because of COVID, we couldn't get the real tree, of course, because COVID. And so we're like, okay, let's stick with our fake tree. Oh, dude, I feel like this is actually very ugly. <laughs> anyway, so we, we put up the fake tree where we normally kept up the real tree. And we were just like, oh, dude, like, this is not a nice tree. <laughs> Like, don't get me wrong, we love the tree because it's been with us for so long. But the thing is, it just felt so skinny and shabby in comparison to what we're used to, you know? So it's like, yeah, like, fake trees are fine because, like, I can't hate on them. And if that's what you got, that's what you got. But the thing the thing is, like, they're also so... They're, they're just not a real tree. It can't compare. But, I, but also, I... Yeah, the smells. The fake trees don't have the smell. The thing about fake trees is that we have an, a really old fake tree. Like I said, like this is like the same age, age as me. This is over 20 years old. I'm sure if you got like a more modern tree with like more modern, like modern technology and whatever, like it's prob it would probably be better for you. But our tree is an old tree, which is why it just seems so lame. <laughs> Okay, next question. What goes on top of a tree, an angel or a star? I say, okay, actually, like I said, we used to have a small old fake tree for a long time. And we actually didn't use either an angel or a star. We used, um, we used bells. Like we have this little thing, like it's like this red scrunchy thing and attached to it, there's bells and that's what we use for our tree uh and so whenever there's the argument I'm, I'm like I don't know what to say because we use bells but when we got the real tree we're like we're gonna get better ornaments too so for our real tree we actually do have a star but I do think the angels are really pretty the, the only thing about the angels is that they kind of stress me out because I feel like when people use angels they're using ceramic angels right so I'm like putting a ceramic angel on top of your tree is like a little worrying because like are you not afraid it's gonna fall like our tree right now 
our our star is completely lopsided. If that was like a real ceramic angel or something, then that that would just be like dangerous. Dude, this house doesn't look pretty. I don't know. Maybe it's not a me coloring problem. This house is just an ugly house. I don't know how to color it to be pretty. Maybe if I make it blue. No, but that's the color of the windows. But it is prettier blue. So maybe I'll just change the windows to be darker. Oh, this is so ugly. Okay, I'm changing this back to this light red color. And I think I'll make the candy canes darker red. Just so it gives more candy cane vibes. You know. Dude, if the first drawing is stressing me out, this video is not gonna go well. You know what the problem is? I just made this look like a house. You know what? The problem is the coloring page. The, what about, other than the candy cane, what about this house makes this Santa's workshop? Yeah, you know what? This is a cute drawing of a nice wintry house that's pink. Just the coloring page screwed me over. Okay, I changed the color of the windows and yes, this is Santa's workshop. If you have a problem with it, you can deal with it. We will color a, a boy with a Christmas presents and Christmas tree now. Next question. Should stockings be just for decorations or are they filled with presents? So we never really use stockings, but I think I think there might have been a couple of years we have put presents in it. The thing about our family is that our parents never really celebrated Christmas. So they had no like traditions to pass on to us on how Christmas should be celebrated. So like if Karen and I wanted to do something because we're like, oh, we see that like on TV, that's how people do it. They're just like, yeah, sure, whatever, we can do it. Like, and I so I think like one year we had enough presents. So I'm just like, you know what? I want, I'm going to put these small presents in the stockings. Like I wasn't even buying the presents because I was like literally in like third grade or something. My parents just bought a bunch of presents and I'm like, I'm going to put these in the stockings so that we can be like those other families that have presents in the stocking. Because literally like, like I said, we literally have no tradition. Like Karen ended up making us have a tradition of opening one present on Christmas Eve night just because she's too impatient to wait for Christmas Day. Like, <laughs> there's no rules. <laughs> Dude, okay, I think this coloring page series is just bad because <laughs> I don't know how to color this guy to make him look, like, aesthetic. Okay, this is not my fault. Oh, but what I forgot to say is that, so now at the place where we do, where we used to keep the stockings, I guess, we now have a big family picture that's framed. So ever since we got that family picture up, we haven't been putting presents in, the, well, we haven't even been putting stockings up. Like we have no other place to keep the stockings other than where we now keep our big family picture. So that's that for us, I guess. <laughs> um, next question, elf on the shelf, yay or nay? I, on, this is another thing, like we just never did it. I think, I'm sure if I ask my parents uh, about Elf on the Shelf, they'll just say they don't know what it is because, like, I don't think I even knew what it was until, like, I think I've seen people post about it, I guess. But, yeah, that's just another one of those things that, like, we never really did. I definitely always thought it was interesting. And, like, I'm sure if my parents did do it, I think it's a lot of fun. But, yeah, that was just never a thing in our family. I do think that Elf in the Shelf should be done with like certain caution though because I've definitely seen TikToks of people literally like traumatizing their children with Elf on the Shelf and it's like hey dude like maybe let's not scare the kids like maybe they don't need to be scared of Christmas. Like, I totally understand that it's, like, funny and good for the views, but also, like, I don't want Christmas for the children to be ruined. <laughs> but also, that brings me to a different point about, like, why are the, why do we make kids actually believe in Santa? Because also, my family never tried to make Santa as a real thing. I think it's also because, again, my parents never celebrated Christmas, but, like, I never believed in Santa as a child, but I still always loved Christmas, like, why are we making children believe in Santa? Like, what is the 
point. I because from what I understood before I realized that there were people actually believing in Santa was that Santa was just like a character in stories. I'm just like, oh yeah, he's just like I don't know, the Easter bunny. Like on to me, Santa's like on the same level as the Easter bunny. So it's not like I was sad that there was no real person giving presents. I was just like, oh yeah, this is just the fun Christmas character. I think only when I was maybe in college did I actually start meeting people who genuinely believed that Santa was real when they were kids. And so I'm just like, that is an interesting parenting choice. <laughs> okay. Kid with his Christmas tree and presents is done. Thank you. Also, Karen is sleeping there. So... If you were expecting any interesting comments from her, expect no more because she's gone. Happy holidays or Merry Christmas. Okay, so I'm a Christian and I know all the Christians are just like, it's, it's, if you say happy holidays, it's anti-Jesus, but it's just like, no, you're not. Like, everyone celebrates holidays. Happy holidays includes Christmas. Like, if people prefer to say happy holidays, don't take it as a hate crime. That's just like what they prefer to say. Like, if you want to continue saying Merry Christmas, go for it. And I think if someone says Merry Christmas, it shouldn't be a problem. But the thing is, like, I don't think anyone's making it a problem. So I don't know why a lot of people are acting like it is. Something that comes to mind is I have a friend who celebrates Diwali. Or, yeah, I think it was Diwali. And she was, she was telling me, like, happy Diwali. And I'm just like, oh, thanks. I mean, I don't really celebrate, but thanks. And she's like, oh, yeah, like, I don't care if you don't celebrate. I still, like, hope that you're, like, happy, you know, like, or something along those lines. And I think that was, like, an interesting perspective to have because I'm just like, yeah, like, she's not, like, offending me. She's not telling me, you better celebrate Diwali. She's just saying, like, I hope, I hope you have a happy day this day, you know? So it's like, I don't think there's anything problematic about saying Merry Christmas and it shouldn't be a problematic thing. But also, like, on the same note, if somebody wants to say Happy Holidays, that should be fine, too. Like, I don't know why it has to be, like, such a big, like, controversial thing. Is Christmas music just for December? No. You can listen to Christmas music whenever you want. And I say you should do it. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Because also I feel like if you're anything like me, like music gives you good feelings too. I know like lots of people get good feelings from music. And the thing is Christmas music gives good feelings. Like I think some people who are like anti early Christmas celebrators are just like, no, it's way too early. How dare you like push Christmas on us? I'm like, I'm not listening to Christmas music because I want to force everyone to celebrate Christmas early. I'm listening to Christmas music because it makes me happy, okay? Like, it's not that deep. Like, I remember literally September of this year, I was listening to Christmas music because I'm just like, it was the vibe. I was in a jolly mood. Jolliness shouldn't be contained to just December. And also, like, I'm such a big fan of Pentatonix and Pentatonix, they have a lot of Christmas music. So it's just like, I don't want to listen to any of their songs. And if that means I'm going to be listening to Christmas music when it's not the Christmas season, so be it. Okay, the last question is, do Harry Potter movies count as Christmas movies? I'd say like, if you're using the, the movies that have them like opening the Christmas presents, yeah, totally go for it. Watch it for a Christmas movie. Because also... Something I'm thinking is like if you think about Christmas movies and you think about like what are the top Christmas movies that come to mind when you have to list them, you're probably thinking about either like those cheesy Hallmark romances or you're thinking about like movies made for children. I feel like there's no like variety with Christmas music with Christmas movies. So like if you're not a fan of rom coms. And if you're not a fan of children's movies, then, like, there's no movies for you, you know? If you want to be watching Harry Potter because that's, like, the type of genre of movie that you like, go for it. Like, I feel like all my answers are just, like, whatever makes most people happy, just do it, you know? Like, I feel like as long as you're getting in the Christmas spirit while watching the movie, that's what matters. And anyway, here's my Christmas tree. <laughs>
that is my Christmas opinions and my Christmas coloring. I hope you found that interesting. I hope Karen sleeping was also interesting. I'll probably wake her up and take her to bed later. And I hope you had fun watching. Thanks for watching this all the way to the end. Very surprised, but very grateful. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!